Hi everyone and welcome back to Clever Patch Crafternoons. I hope you had a wonderful time last week making those beautiful spring paper flowers. This week I thought I could get us ready for the up and coming Halloween season. So we have some really fun spooky crafts for Halloween. And this week I thought I would take you through how to make one of these really cute paper plate treat bags to carry all of your sweet treats that you collect when you go trick or treating. So these are really fun. You can make a few different characters. You don't have to follow the character that I'm making, but I'll just show you how to make the vampire so you can get an idea of what to do. For this craft, you're going to need uh, some paper plates and a sheet of paper. You're going to need some paints to decorate with, a stapler and hole punch, as well as a glue stick, pair of scissors, a pencil and a permanent marker, and then some ribbon or twine to make your handle with. Okay, I think that's it. Let's jump into it. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a Dracula bag. So this little guy here, but you can come up with whatever character you like. This is just going to give you the basic knowledge of how to make your treat bag. And then you can come up with whatever character you like. So first up, we are going to take two paper plates and we just want to lay them inside of one another like so, and we're going to cut off a quarter of the plate. So carefully with our scissors, always get adult supervision when using scissors. We don't want any accidents. We're just going to cut that off like so. And now we have two smaller pieces and two large pieces. Now we're going to decorate. So when we decorate, be sure to decorate the back side of your plate. So the side that is raised up off the desk when you put it flat in front of you. And I'm going to paint one of the large pieces purple and one black. And then with our smaller pieces, I'm going to paint one of those purple, the same purple as the larger piece. And the other piece I'm just going to put to the side for later. Once you've painted those pieces and allowed them to dry, we can move on to the next step. So now we can start thinking about assembling our treat bag. Now with this small piece, we're going to make Dracula's ears. So we just want to cut it in half with our scissors. And these are going to be his pointy ears. Take your black piece of plate and face it down on your desk with the white side facing up. Then we're going to pop our ears in place with the colored side facing up on either side and then lay our purple plate over the top. So we can see his face is starting to take shape. And all we need to do now is take our stapler and staple that all together to hold it in place. Now that's the basis of our treat bag. So you can see the opening there where we can pop all our yummy treats inside. And then we have the front and the back, all held in place by these staples. All that's left to do now is make the vampire's face. Let's start with Dracula's hair. So I'm taking a sheet of black paper and I'm just going to place it under my plates. And I'm positioning it so it's approximately seven centimeters or so from that top edge there. And I'm going to take a pencil and lightly sketch in a line that's just following on from the edge of that plate arch. So same on the other side. 
Now we can see these two lines here show us the start of the hairline. And we know that it's going to go down over the face from here. So thinking of Dracula or vampires, they've got these big arched hairlines that come down to a point in the middle. So be sure not to bring your points, sorry, your arches above where the paper plate ended. So we want it to all be stuck on top of the plate and just roughly sketch in that hairline like so. Now we want to cut out our hair and now we want to glue it in place on top of our plate. So position it nicely and then just get your glue stick and glue it in place. So just let that one dry and we will move on to making Dracula's eyes. I'm going to take the extra piece of paper plate that we put to the side at the start and I'm just going to cut out two circles. So to get those the same size, I'm just going to fold that in half and then cut a nice big circle. So we've just got one and two. And those little ridges of the paper plate makes it look like eyelashes. To make the pupils, I'm just going to trace around our eye so I know what size I'm working with and then draw in what size pupil I'd like. Fold it in half and cut out. So I've got two pupils for my paper plate eyes. I'm also just going to grab my hole punch at this point and put a little hole in each of the pupils just to give it a bit more character. So now we've got our eyes, we take our trusty glue stick and glue those in place as well. Once our eyes have dried in place, we can then take our permanent marker and draw in Dracula's smile. So a nice big smile and we can't forget the fangs. Now you might have other materials that you'd like to add extra decorations, but I'm going to stop there. And now all that's left to do is make our handle for carrying. So to do that, I just need to take my hole punch and I'm just going to punch a hole through both the plates at the side there and then one on the opposite side as well. So now I have a hole either side and I'm just going to take a long piece of ribbon, threading one end through the first hole and tying it a double knot in place. and the other end through the second hole and a double knot in place to finish. And there we have 
a cute Dracula treat bag ready to take trick or treating. Well, I hope you've had a great time today creating these cute little Halloween treat bags. Now remember, you don't have to create these characters that you see here. You can come up with all sorts of characters. So get your imagination going and see what you can create. Be sure to share your creations with us online. Tag us in on the socials or shoot us an email with your pictures. We love seeing what you're creating. I hope you enjoy the rest of your holidays. Stay safe and have a happy Halloween. And until next time, happy crafting.